quick about what President Trump's father, Fred Trump, did for myself, for my brother, for my sister, for my mother. 1974, my dad suffered a major heart attack. I went to the same school as Donald Trump, the Q Forest School. Three days after my father's burial, there was a knock on the door one school morning, 7 a.m. I answered the door. It's a distinguished gentleman. I was 10 years old. My father just died. The gentleman said, kid, call your mom. I called my mom from, from upstairs. She came down. The gentleman said to my mom, I am Fred Trump, Donald's father. And my mom says, yes, I know Donald went to the Q4 school. And Mr. Fred Trump said to my mom, yes, Mrs. Rem, very sorry about Joseph's death. And what you don't know is I'm still on the board of trustees at the Q Forest School. And this morning, I let headmaster, Mr. Philip Rogers, know that from this day forward, myself, Fred Trump, out of my own pocket, is going to pay for your three children's tuition because I don't want the kids to have to go back into the public school system. And the tuition, the tuition in 1974 was $2,500 per child, $7,500, which is about $80,000, $100,000 in today's money. And who would do that except the President Trump's father? The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, and they give the Trump family grief. The Trump family is a wonderful family, the entire family, sorry. And who else? You, you, can you picture Joseph Biden or Camilla Harris doing that? No. All they care about is buying another mansion. I'm going to tell you, the Trump family is wonderful. I love you, Donald. I wish I could shake your hand. It was my mother's last dying wish to shake your hand and to thank your father, Fred Trump, for what he did for us kids in 1974. In a recent event while campaigning for President Trump, he was asked what he thought about Trump as a person. And he shared this amazing story. I, I've known uh, President Trump for many years, and I, um, on two occasions, I sued him. Uh, <laughs> for, he was trying to build re, uh, golf courses up in the New York City Reservoir watershed, and I sued him successfully to stop that. And at, at one point, um, my wife, she she wanted to go to. Palm Beach for the weekend to see my mom over uh, Easter, and uh, I said, I, you know, I didn't want to buy tickets for all the kids, and she said, what if I find a free ride? And I said, okay. Then she said, I found a free ride, and I said, who? Oh. And she said, Donald Trump, and I said, oh, I'm suing him. <laughs> and she said, he told me he knows you're suing him, but it's okay anyway. <laughs> and, uh, and we ended up flying down with him, and I had a great time. I still sued him, and... <laughs> that... <laughs> it's such an interesting story, because you kind of separate the friendship from the legal stuff. It's like, yeah, you sue me, I get it, that's what you do. Yeah. But I'm not, I'd like, you want to use my plane? Fine. I mean, p some people would not understand that. No, I, I think I have been able to do that. Otherwise, I would have nobody to talk to at all. <laughs> You know? I said to, I alluded to it, a very important member of my family, far more important than Eric or Laura, and her name is Carolina, and she's beautiful, and she's sweet, and she doesn't know how evil life is, she hasn't experienced it yet, but she does know how great life is, and we want to make life Great for everybody here, and we're going to do that. Can I ask Carolina to come up? Is that possible? <laughs> Carolina. This is the... She sat on my lap during the Republican convention.
can see the new senator when Ted someday, he's going to say, sir, I've had it. I can't do it any longer. He's going to resign or leave, and we're going to have Carolina get in there and run. Anyway, would anybody like to meet Luke, her brother? Luke, come on up. Come on up. So cute. Oh, he doesn't want to get off the stage. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's got the gene. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. You know, I said, say MAGA. I whispered into his ear. So cute. I said, say MAGA. He said, vote for grandpa. He didn't care what I said. And that was actually much better, right? That was much better. Thanks, Luke.